Hi, this is Wayne from Eastim Systems, and today I'm going to tell you about the new firmware for the Eastim Systems 2B. The 2B was one of the first truly upgradable Eastim units on the market. It's been around since 2010, and since then we've released firmware that not only improves what it does, but also improves how it does it. We have been releasing firmware via our developers forum. You'll find the link in the description below. But this time 2.2 is the latest publicly released beta firmware. So what's new in the 2.2 firmware? The first thing you'll notice is you only need a single click to select modes instead of the double click from previous firmware. We have refined the feel system so the outputs will feel smoother and more refined than before. The time range of all pulsed or program modes has been extended. We've also added a time warp factor option that allows you to extend the timing by up to 32 times the original. So if you think something is not slow enough, then try adding a time warp. Tickle mode now has a tickle level adjustment control, giving four adjustments, soft, low, medium and high. Remember tickle mode is a tickle and only works when you turn the adjust knob. Some modes now have what we call ramp control. This controls the speed of increase in the setting of each mode. Again, this allows you to tailor the individual programs of the 2B to your needs. We've also added a few new modes. Flow, similar to continuous, but with an independent field control on each channel. Cycle is a continuous output mode with a cycling feeling that rises to a crescendo before instantly dropping back down to restart the cycle again. Twist is a continuous output mode again, but this time the cycling feeling rises and falls over a controlled cycle. Now we come to audio. We've updated the audio modes and added a new advanced stereo mode. Remember the 2B is designed to work with complex audio, i.e. music and voice, not just boring monotone sine waves, so we've been working on making the stereo response even more effective than before. The stereo mode has improved sensitivity, and the advanced stereo mode not only has improved sensitivity, but also now functions with the new output mapping system. The output mapping system allows you to change the output of your 2B to tailor it more to your tastes and methods of play. Think of it as a way of adjusting the whole response of your 2B, in the same way that modern cars can switch from economy, off-road and race or sport modes. The output maps give you more response in the output levels you enjoy. And with three new output maps to play with, there is a lot more to explore. As well as the output maps, 2.2 now has an additional power mode, Dynamic. Where previous firmware had low and high power, Dynamic now switches between the two seamlessly allowing you to play across the previous power ranges. We still have our classic 0-100% to adjustments, but you'll find they feel different depending on what output map you're using. You can also change how the dynamic output level changes, depending on what channel is higher at the time. We call this output bias. It does sound complex, but actually it's quite simple, and is all explained in the online manual. You'll find the link to the online manual in the description below. On to Commander and eSTIM Connect. We've improved the commander interface so commands can be sent much quicker than before and we've increased the number of commands giving you even more control and adjustment. We've also released Commander 4 and a new version of Connect, strangely enough called Connect version 4, to work with the new firmware, both of which are available free from our websites. As usual, you'll find the links in the description below. How do you get the new firmware? Well, you need a 2B, obviously, and the eSTEM Systems Digital Link. We have a video explaining how to upload the new firmware on our YouTube channel, you'll find in the link in the description below. We're not yet shipping new units with the new firmware, as we're still classing it as a beta, but it will be available soon. I hope you enjoy the new firmware, but if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. We'll do our best to answer them all. Hope this helps, and thanks for watching, and remember, please be safe.